what's the story behind Halo? Um, we're just kind of trying to do like a song that's like a lot of the songs are fairly positive messages this time around. Like this, the first batch of songs was all um, sort of you know futures in your hands kind of a mm-hmm. kind of a line I guess could sum it up. But yeah, the the last half of the album is more like fun, dirty black keys kind of rock and roll and there's some bigger songs some heavier songs some songs that are maybe more like Muse or Metric or th- something like that but uh, yeah the, so the first batch is all pretty like stadium rock type stuff so you guys would say your genre is, is rock for sure yeah yeah it was mostly filmed on top of a mountain <laughs> in Canmore and uh, Golden and Revelstoke so it's pretty cool it was shot on the same camera as uh is this the one that you had on your Facebook fan page? Can you guys show a little bit of on there? Uh, the video's not out yet, so... You didn't should... show a clip or anything? Uh, I think I had, like, a behind-the-scenes video. It might have been. Because I saw that, and I loved it. You guys were hilarious. So, yeah, it's pretty cool. We that should... is nice. The whole thing was shot with the same camera as uh, Avatar 2, and um, we had, like, a helicopter camera and stuff like that, so yeah. it, was, it was pretty intense. Kind of more of an arena rock band. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it sounds to me like you guys really enjoy performing live more than anything. Yeah, we've been pretty lucky over the years. Got to tour with some pretty awesome bands and play some big shows. You know, we've done... Uh, I think some of my favorite tour memories were probably like with... We played a show with Papa Roach in Grand Prairie. That was one of my favorites. And we did a tour with Marianas Trench and Everclear like years really ago. Well, that was really funny. Like we, I went to the show in November here. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, we kind of hung out a little bit after, and there was a spot in the show where he's, like, running around in the crowd. He was going to throw me the mic, and I was going to sing a little bit, but I was, like, two feet away from him, and he couldn't see me. So I was like, oh, <laughs> but, so, you know, it's, it's awesome to see, see those guys really explode, because they, uh, they were good friends of the band for a long time. So it's cool yeah. that, you know, to see somebody go from the, you know, starting out as an indie band just young kids yeah, yeah. to doing what they're doing now like just got signed with Cherry Tree in the States and they're on tour in the States right now so yeah. it's awesome so would you say that they're very supportive of what you're doing too obviously yeah like, yeah they're always that. you know they'll retweet our stuff or you know t- I text those guys from time to time and just sort of touch base and see what's going on try and hang out with them when they come hi Brian <laughs> yeah look at this guy cool how's it going hey buddy you what's wearing your, your pitcher outfit oh um, yeah Come on in. I'm just kind of creeping you, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, it's all good. Nice to meet you, Brian. Nice to meet you. I'm Candace. Nice to meet you. Yes. Your hair looks so. lovely today. Thank you. I bet you smell good. Yeah, today I do. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's, 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 that's for sure. No, then us, not ASS. <laughs> us. Then you, then well, you I should hope I smell better than ASS. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite translation ever of Ari's accent was uh, I was going to Greece last year and Ari's like, Dude, the bitches in Greece are the best. <laughs> <laughs> and Ari's girlfriend's like, Beaches, Ari! <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Oh, that's funny. <laughs>